Hi, I'm in my backyard orchard today and I'd like to relay some pruning and training tips for your fruit trees. My source is from an article in the American Fruit Grower by John Clements. He's an extension tree fruit specialist at the University of Massachusetts in Amherst and this was published in January of 2021. The first point in the article was you need to know how to train and manage your trees to the system that you've selected. Now most homeowners use either what we call the central leader system or open center. Some people call it a base system. And there are many other systems such as the vertical axis, slender spindle, the quad V and others, depending on the species of trees that you have. Whatever system you plan to use, take some time to research online the system and how to properly train the trees. In previous pruning videos, I've discussed the different types of cuts that you'll make when you're pruning. For instance, heading back cuts, thinning cuts, and bench cuts. Thinning cuts are by far your best option. This is where you take off a branch by cutting back to its origin. The reason thinning cuts are the best option is because it's a less invigorating cut, which means there's going to be less regrowth with this one as compared to other types of cuts. Some of the reason we make thinning cuts includes tree height reduction, opening up the interior of the tree for better light and air penetration. And this cut is the first and best option for crop thinning by reducing the number of flower buds on the tree. You should avoid making heading cuts unless you're trying to promote vigor in the tree and branching, but the branching can become excessive. This will make next year's pruning more time consuming. You should learn to train your tree properly to the system you have chosen and work to maintain that system. To maintain the central leader system while training, remove competitive branches to the leader, remove crossing branches and things of that sort. I have that information in some earlier videos. Generally, we do not leave stubs when pruning, but there are exceptions. Leaving stubs will promote branching near the pruning cut. If you have an open area where the cut was made, you can select one of the branches and then train it to fill the spot. If you're growing a less vigorous variety like Honeycrisp, you can leave a little longer stub. When training a tree to the central leader system, if a branch is more than 50% or more the diameter of the leader, remove it, leaving a stub to encourage another smaller branch to grow. This would also apply if you're training your trees to what we call the tall spindle system, which is not commonly used in backyard orchards. Pruning during the dormant season results in more vigorous regrowth. Ideally, it is better and less work overall to do two thirds of your pruning during the winter months and one third during the summer months. This is rarely done though, but you might want to try it. It will result in less time pruning in the long run. If you have a small orchard in rows, the final height of the trees ideally should be 90% of the distance between the tree rows. For example, if the distance between your rows is 17 feet, then the final tree height should be maintained at about 15.3 feet. The height should not be allowed to exceed the distance between rows. And I believe the reason for that is most likely shading. When making thinning cuts to reduce the height of the tree, try to cut back to a weaker side branch. Also, use thinning cuts to remove branch forking. This will keep branches simple and it will promote more fruit bearing wood. Now, although I've mentioned this in other videos, but not using quite the same terms, when training and pruning using the central leader system, strive for a horizontal structure for fruit bearing surfaces. In other words, remove upright, drooping and downward growing wood. Horizontal wood is the best orientation for the branch to be more fruitful and have the best quality fruit. And finally, if you haven't watched my video on pruning with battery powered pruners, check it out. They can just about eliminate the need for loppers. I have a link in the description if you're interested. The pruners I'm using in the demonstration, I purchased. They weren't given to me, but I still really like them. So check it out if you get a chance. I hope this has been helpful. I'll have some more pruning videos for you in the future. This is Gary. Have a nice spring as soon as it gets here. Bye.
<laughs> you thought I was gone, didn't you? Some of the reasons we make thinning cuts include some of the reasons we make thinning cut cuts. Some of the reason we make thinning cuts cuts. <laughs> some of the reasons we make thinning cut cut. <laughs> Dog. All right. <clears throat> Forget it this time. <laughs>